Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's been a bit of time since I posted my last video and that's because I was in China with Huawei and it was a really great trip. Got to see a lot of really neat things. Uh, I will incorporate uh, some footage from that trip in future videos. If you wanna see some pictures that I took, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Anyways, of course I was on that trip with Huawei so I figured it would be very fitting to have my first video while I'm back to be on a Huawei device and this is going to be on the Huawei MateBook X and I'm very excited to try this out. Huawei has made a MateBook in the past, but it was more of a two-in-one. This is uh, strictly a laptop, so Huawei is starting to get into more uh, the laptop space. While in China, I even had a nice Q&A session with the COO of Huawei as well, so got a lot of good information about this device. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up, quickly show you what's in the box, and also give some first impressions as well. So let's go ahead and begin. And right away, I did get the Prestige Gold model sent to me from Huawei. There's also a Rose Gold along with a Space Gray model that will be available. And opening it on up, this is actually a pre-production model as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. This isn't a final retail unit. Looks like there's some packaging on the device and it does say to charge it before I turn it on. So I will plug it in. Uh, before I do actually turn this guy on, but here is the MateBook X, extremely light. Wow, I can't believe how light this actually is. Uh, opening it on up lets you know some information about the device, but I'm gonna set the device to the side for just a second. We'll get some more in-depth shots in uh, a little bit. I wanna go ahead and talk about what else is in the box. So opening it on up, looks like we have an AC uh, plug, which is an EU slot, which they actually sent me an adapter, thankfully, just because, of course, it's a pre-production model. So USB type C, I believe the cable should be in this box. So let's see what else is included. So it does have an adapter for a USB type C slot. Looks like USB type A, VGA, HDMI, and another USB type C slot as well. So pretty nice they did include an adapter. And finally, you have a USB type C to USB type C cable, which can plug right into your AC power adapter, of course, either way, because it is type C. Before I turn this device on, I'd like to go ahead and get a little more in depth on the overall hardware of this device. And you'll see I'm down at the bottom, you do have some grips on all four corners, uh, raised just a little bit so that you aren't scratching on any surface. Looking along the right side, you'll see you do have one USB type C slot. Moving along here is the back. And then on the left side of this laptop, you have another USB Type-C slot, which does have a little battery icon, so I'm curious to see if you can only charge on this side. I'll test that out in just a second and let you know. And a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and that's it for ports. So just two USB Type-C slots along with a headphone jack as well. It is pretty crazy how thin and light this MateBook X is, and I feel like it will be perfect when I'm on the go, traveling, or anything of the like. And then opening it on up, here's a look at that touchpad along with a keyboard as well. And then of course at the top you do have speakers which are enhanced by Dolby Atmos. And here's just another close look at that keyboard. Also worth noting in the upper right hand corner there you have a power button along with a fingerprint scanner. So we will test that out now actually. Let's power this guy up. So I finished charging up this device. Now I'm gonna press and hold the power button and you'll see Huawei Booting on up, I'm not exactly sure if this is gonna take us to the startup screen or not. It looks like it's a Huawei user, so it looks like it uh, will not go through the setup process, but that booted up extremely quickly, as you just saw right there. And I do wanna make a note that while I was charging this device, you'll notice on the left side here, there's a bit of an LED indicator, and that only lit up when I had the AC adapter plugged into the left side versus the right side. So you can only charge the MateBook X by using this left USB Type-C port. After turning on this laptop, the first thing I noticed was that gorgeous display. It is a 2K display with a three to two screen aspect ratio with extremely minimal bezels. It has a 4.4 millimeter bezels on the left and right side, an 88% screen to body ratio as well. So overall, uh, it looks great and it looks very thin and slim along with just the lightweight and thin design. Continuing on to give you some idea of specs of the specific model that I received, you see it has an Intel seventh generation Intel Core i7 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM as well, and a 512 gigabyte SSD hard drive. Next up, I'd like to set up that fingerprint scanner. So you'll see, touch the fingerprint sensor. You will need to set up a pin and a password as well. So it looks like lift and touch the sensor and it's going to start to register your fingerprint. Keep resting. 
And there we go, all set. You can add another one if you'd like to. I'm just gonna have the one for now. Let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit close. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep the device. And there I am, hey everyone. So now, uh, let's go ahead and wake uh, this laptop up. So as you can see, uh, it does have LED backlit keys. And now, let's go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and set my fingerprint on there and it unlocks it right away. Now I wanna test one more thing out. I'm going to shut this laptop down and kind of take a look at what happens after it shuts down, when I turn it on, the process of that as well, because I believe it's a little bit different with that fingerprint scanner. So it is off, shuts down very quickly as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press that fingerprint scanner along with the power button, loads on up there. You can go ahead and see how quickly it uh, boots up to this lock screen and you'll see, check it out, it already registered and scanned my finger when I pressed that power button. So it logged right in, knew it was me. Uh, just because I put my finger that I had registered on this button. Now, if I wanna go ahead and do it with a different finger, it would not have logged in. It would have just went to the lock screen. Anyways, that's everything I wanted to cover for now on the Huawei MateBook X. A full review coming very soon. Click that subscribe button so you're notified of that. But a lot more in-depth look pretty soon coming for the keyboard, uh, trackpad, speakers, all that good stuff. And also just using this laptop as my daily laptop as well. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.